welcome back to the Buff Bombshell Show. My name is Lauren. I am your host, and I am with the fabulous Emma Heinemann, the posing pro. Hi, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. And today we have got such a special episode for you. Yes. We have got in the studio, introduce for us, Lauren. Laura Lee Chapetta. Woo! Woo! We are so excited to have you here. Thank you so, so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. This is great. Thank you. <laughs> so, Laura Lee, a week out, how do you feel? That's, I think that's, that's the question, right? Like, how do I feel? <laughs> I feel that right now, I, I really want to get to Florida and just kind of like breathe out um because you know with all the changes and everything everything got kind of you know change of plan and last minute everything was kind of organized already in my head for so long you know like vegas and mm. it got kind of familiar because it's going to be like my third olympia mm. so i was like getting to the same kind of place and they changed the the you know the place to planet hollywood which is like even more exciting but everything that every time your environment changes a little bit it's kind of nerve-wracking a little bit but um yeah i'm just really excited looking forward to go to florida and just kind of you know enjoy my peak week in florida and get acclimated <laughs> and everything but um until then i'm kind of like i feel like in, in a rush a little bit but it's okay got it how how is your peak week looking T talk us through what's going to happen and mm. uh, what your protocol is Yes, please. Sure. So um, I have my coach with me that flew in uh, from Canada about I think flew yesterday or two days ago. So uh, he's been uh, taking a very close look at me, like like very very close. Every every time I eat, he checks on me. Um, every thirty minutes um, wow. after after my meal, every thirty minutes before, uh, kind of like telling me what to eat um, for my next meal, after meal. Take off a meal, add, add, you know, some carbs or no carbs. Try to keep my body at a certain point where it's very, very consistent and where he has like control over every little aspect. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so he's been, you know, putting all this whole document on me, like with like pictures, with time, and like how much water and you know, like sodium. So just trying to be as consistent as possible because we just don't want me to be nervous. Because, um, yeah, when I get really nervous, I can, you know, that's where, that's where it plays, you know. It's the like last two or one day when you start getting nervous and just your body starts just burning. And I, my body, like, is so different from one to two pounds. So we have to be very, very careful and just trying to figure out, like, what's the best look for me and keep, like, a good amount of fullness without, um without my waist being affected. Oh. And I, I normally like need a lot of food to be full, but then if I'm I'm super full, then my waist gets kind of bloated and like it throws up the whole package. So basically I have my coach with me, which is great. And then peak week is just going to be like a day-to-day -day kind of pro process. That's amazing. I got to say, um, I saw on your Instagram yesterday, James gave you a burger, you know? How, like, <laughs> the face says it all <laughs> i was like not many bikini girls get a burger and fries one week out and um yours looked amazing so and you yeah thank you it was actually phenomenal it was really good <laughs> you know it's, it's kind of it's kind of um I, I had burgers before like in my past prep i'm thinking like 2018 but any prep i think was before my Olympia prep, I had a burger a week before because, mm. um, we, you know, I was like too depleted. And um, I know that we kind of depleted a bit before him coming here because mm. he wanted to see how, like, how far we can go um, conditioning wise um, without losing my shape. But um, I would say, like, I, I needed probably a refeed like two days ago and um, we didn't do that. So normally, like, um, James loved the clean approach, which I love also because especially close to a show, you don't want to risk anything. But um, I always go with my classic Five Guys hamburger, large fries, no <laughs> salt, and, you know, ketchup, mustard, no mayo, and 
I know how my body reacts to it. So that's where I still kind of safe uh, eating that. And um, I mean, today I'm I'm a pound up. That's where we want to we want to see. We want to see how I can be in the morning because that's the important part, right? Like you want to make sure that when you wake up in the morning, I'm not flat. And that's what normally happens. It's like the, the, the day of the show, you can't eat so much before the show. So uh, we want to make sure that I'm full right away in the morning fast. Amazing. Yeah. How do but you- yeah, the figure was delicious. <laughs> in a nutshell <laughs> um you you talk about like um nerves two days before the show that's when the nerves really start to kick in for you is this the first time you have had your coach with you every single day looking at you this much in the run-up to the show and if so do you think that'll help with your nerves and um your you know running up to the the, the show um I absolutely will, in a sense, because I can. Um, I'm kind of able to just like leave that to him. Yes, takes um, the pressure off. Exactly, and normally, like he would see me like uh, last year Olympia, he was there like a week before, maybe five days before, I think, which is great. But the more time you have, then you know you you don't risk anything like mm. three days before your show, and that's where it gets kind of tricky. And I mean. Uh, me and James, we've worked together now for over a year. Like this past year, even though I didn't compete it, I I, was, I started prepping and I was still like kind of staying pretty lean for my photo shoots and all. So like I've been checking in with him a lot and we've been able to try uh, different things with my body because he would tell you like my body is very difficult to work with and we we, he didn't have a lot of data. Um, our first show together was the Olympia, which oh, is a wow. pretty... Oh, wow. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yeah, a lot of pressure. And I got injured, so um, it was a lot for us. But now we're really happy with where I stand. And uh, I've been pretty consistent for over four weeks now, I would say. Like, I wake up in a, in a stage kind of ready um, shape. Amazing. So... Yeah. yeah, pretty, pretty that's, happy. That's a good me. place to be in. Yes, get ready early. You know, like waking up every day, you're what you're um, just over a week out now. So waking up every day and feeling like you're really not far from where you need to be to how you want to look on stage, that must make, that must give you a sense of calmness. It, it does, it does. But it's at the same time, I would say it's kind of a catch-22 because sometimes there's some days you're like, oh my God, I look so good. And then if I, like a week after that, closer to the show, you're like off for one day, it can really get into your head. Mm. So it's a, it's, a, it's a mindset game, you know, you just have to trust the process, trust the journey and uh, don't let that affect you. Yeah. And um, I, think, I think that's probably the thing that you don't get experience. You know, I've been competing for like six years now. This is my third Olympia. You would think that like, it, it doesn't get to me, um, you know, like waking up one, one day and obviously you can retain water for, for so many variables. Like I didn't get enough sleep. I, I retain water. Um, there's, uh, you know, hormones that we deal with, um, training, you know, you get inflamed in your legs and then you're like, Oh my God, like I'm, I'm off today, but you're not really off. It's just, you have to be, and that that's where a, a good coach just helps you be like, you're good. We're good. We're on track. No worries. Uh, you got this and just mm. yeah you have to not get into your head too much 100 percent. that's um that's so awesome i am um, i remember watching you last year and you placed fourth and you know you, i remember you were injured about 11 days out with your back and you couldn't pose properly so how is it different uh, is it very different this year because i think you look fantastic let's put it that way so like is it a lot different now are you feeling good and just on that part of it because um so i'm gonna knock on wood right here yeah. um not injured good. and we're is out so um my back is really good i'm you know i'm still tre- stretching every single day that's really like prevent prevent but also uh, make sure that you know nothing happens that i stay really um you know flex- flexible and everything is just okay and um I'm being very like careful with my workout. I'm just being very mindful and just very smart uh, mm-hmm. that close to the show. I did a video um, two days ago and back last week 
and we kind of tuned down a little bit my in the intensity of my workouts because um, I can go like really intense in my workout and like it's kind of my moment and if I there's this thing about me like if I, I'm not sore the next day I feel like I didn't work out enough like you know I always ask so much about myself but this goes to a show where you're very very lean and like you're posing every day like it puts a lot of tension in your lower back mm. um, so yeah just being careful with it but I honestly feel really really good um, mm. this physique that I've built just because I've worked so hard mm. like so so hard and now to see just coming like coming together mm. I'm, I'm just I'm very excited to, to show to showcase that mm. like, mm. like like finally like I've been talking about 2018 so much because the, the judges wanted me to bring that look back and that's what they wanted and I I, I brought a lot back from 2018 but uh, better nice nice so and excited for that yeah I, i've seen your progression through the the year mm -hmm. i think we both have been watching you obviously we've been fangirling like it's amazing <laughs> and you definitely, like you look like you put on more muscle this yes. year you know what i mean but it's on all the right places mm -hmm. And it looks just the yeah. for, I mean for us the the frame the X yeah. frame the fullness in the right places the the shoulders the taper the glutes the yeah. hamstring like you for us you're bringing a complete package yeah. so we are super excited <laughs> to see you on stage. <laughs> um, but yeah, what what do you feel like that? What do you feel like you've improved on mm -hmm. since the the last time you stepped on stage? What's been your focal point? Uh, what's different from last time to this time? Honestly, like I, it's like I started back again, over again. Um, coming back from twenty nineteen, like the the injury, just like um, you know, from the Arnold, also like the Arnold, like. You know, I, I lost, like, a lot of muscle uh, during the process, I think, I believe. And um, I had to really build back. So what I did is just, like, I, I just literally took my the book of what I know and just crashed it out and went back to my regular workout just, like, before I started, you know, like, compound movement, just some good isolation exercises, like, how I know what works with my body. And on top of that, I included progressive overload, which has been huge for me because I'm a firm believer in form but I was so stuck into like form is so important that I would stay with like the five pound dumbbells and I would just become more endurant with it mm -hmm. but um, like right now I'm I'm doing like sideline rolls with like 20 pounds dumbbell which is like it, it's not about the weight but it's about um, challenging yourself and getting your body to um, guess all the time so, uh, yeah, I've been, like, pretty hardcore in my workout, but also um, very on point with my nutrition. Mm. So having all that and also, like, working so much on the mindset, too, and my environment is just so – honestly, like, everything is so different. That's why I'm, I'm even more excited just because it's so much more than the physique that I'm going to present. It's the whole, like, the whole environment change, a whole mindset change, a whole literally change. Like, for me, it's – it's it's gonna it's going to be my first competition feeling the way that I am right now like overall and wow. suit hair makeup everything is just I am very I'm, I'm looking forward to it I've been working on the package and I've been visualizing for a long time now so I'm, I'm looking forward to it yeah. yes I'm picking up like I feel like you've got the complete champion mindset mm. You know, like you, yeah. you, like you, like the visualization. It's you know the the work ethic, the nutrition. It feels like you know you've ticked all of the boxes, and you know, like you said, you've been working on the mindset. What what have you specifically been focusing on when it comes to mindset? So, I would say self confidence. Like, um, how can I? Say? How can I explain to you this? So, like, I, I didn't have the typical success path of everybody. Everybody. So it, normally, like, people start kind of, like kind of from, from the bottom and they slowly grow, you know, and they win shows like, or they they start 11th place and then they play sport and then they win Miss Olympia. Um, me was like, I won every show and then 
I when I was at the top and everybody, you know, I remember the hype uh, leading to the Arnold. Everybody was kind of like, oh, you're, you're top contender. And then I finished my worst placing in my career, like sixth place. And then it's like when I won, that's where I should have had believed in myself. But I didn't believe in myself until I lose. Mm. When I lost and I finished sixth place, I was like, it was just two choices was with, like in front of me. I keep going, like I, I, I stand back up and just keep the work going and believe in myself or just give up. Because I was like, how can you go up from this? You know, is it over for me like now? Because I, I was there right here, like I finished second in the Olympia and now I'm sixth at the Arnold. And um, that's where I started believing in myself. But uh, that whole 2019 year was more of a, I would say how like a healing process and mm -hmm. kind of like rebuilding a little bit. But that whole year that I took was just like, um, like now I know, mm -hmm. now I know what I'm capable of. Like I, 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 I've been the proof of standing back up. I've been the proof of, you know, uh, believing in myself because by now, you know, finishing sixth place when everybody's expecting so much from you, it's like, well, you only have yourself now mm -hmm. because nobody is really like, you're not, well, you're like, well, girl, like you missed your chance, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but for me, like I wasn't over yet. So uh, then went to the Olympia, I got injured, but um, yeah, I, I think, you know, I didn't have the same expectation from the people um, leading to the show, but then I had a whole entire year to just be like, I, I, I work out. I work out believing in myself with that same purpose every single day since I left the stage from the Olympia. Mm -hmm. It was not a day that it was not clear into my mind, like my goal, my purpose. Like every time I went to do my cardio, every time it was fueled by, by this like hunger of yes. being so much better. And yeah, it, it was, it, it really was special because um, I think people, think I carry a very high self-confidence but it's not the case it's really something I work on but I I believe in the discipline that I have um, I believe in the passion that I have like inside of me like I, I I need the gym like it's it's just part of me um, I'm sure you girls understand like it's, it's totally yeah right it's, yeah. it's just it's, it's it's the way of like expressing myself. It's my it's my way out. If I'm happy, I want to go to the gym. If I'm sad, I want to go to the gym. If I'm angry, I want to go to the gym. If I, however, I feel I I want to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to be better. I want to work out hard. But not only do I want to go, you know, work out. I want to go train to be Miss Olympia. And that's how it's been for 15 months now. Wow. So I literally, I can wow. feel the fire. Yeah. Like I can, when you say like, um, mm -hmm. I almost feel like when you're at this stage, it feels like you said a hunger, mm -hmm. but also a desperation to win. It's like, there's no, there's, there's no other option. I literally feel like you are going into this show. Like I'm coming, like yeah. I'm coming. I feel I'm like coming that. to win. Yeah. I gotta say like, it's, it's, it's all center. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was going to say no, just, um, on what Emma is saying as well, but you are such a good representative for the sport when it comes to the bikini category as well, like bodybuilding in general. I feel like you carry yourself with so much uh, humility and just... Um, is that you're a, humble. You're like you're humble. humble. And yeah. it's so refreshing to see that because there needs to be more people like that in, in bodybuilding and especially like... The way so i'm really happy that you carry yourself the way that you do even if you don't always feel like you're not the most confident or you feel like you know after it just sex, makes yeah. you real and yes. i think it makes other people and other girls that look Absolutely. up to you aspire to be mm -hmm. like you it just makes you um M more relatable authentic you know it's it and work you are like yes you're a pro but you're still a real person mm -hmm. you know work you got to work on your own self-belief your confidence mm -hmm. um and i think a lot of you know, beginners and ladies <laughs> that look up to you they they'll they'll be like oh wow she's mm -hmm. you know you are who you are and you've got such a, a big brand and a reputation that that's going to inspire other people mm -hmm. to go oh she's real she's like us yes definitely exactly 
And I feel like my 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 goal with with that it's like being so real that people don't want to be me, <laughs> but they want to believe in themselves and be like see like this girl believe in herself and that's all she needed mm -hmm. to win and be the proof of that like for me like winning miss olympia would be like she's the proof of believing in yourself so much like uh -huh. that you can achieve anything you know yeah. i want well like and it, that's in whatever you want to do like if you're passionate about collecting stamp and you're <laughs> Like people don't let people tell you that you like you can't do it, but just like wake up every morning and just fuel that that thing that you have inside of me that that you know that's for it like burning fire like um I got so much you know waves thrown at me like um just what we do is not normal mm -hmm. um and I fought I fought through that my entire like teenage year because I was just a teenager. I, I just wanted to be like everyone else. Yeah. Everyone else, you know, mm -hmm. uh, my family, my friend wouldn't understand. Uh, so, um, socially, like you just want to get accepted. And it, it was not a thing, um, back in Canada, you know? So, um, I don't know what it was, but I was just like, I kept going and I just kept going. And I just, I just didn't put water in on that fire to extinguish it. I just, I let it burn. Like it was silent though. Like I didn't express it all over. Like, you know, I wasn't big about it. Um, I wasn't big on social media about it. Nothing at all. I was just like going by my day, doing the work in silence, but then like see where I, I am right now. And that's, I think it was just about believing really, truly believing, but I don't want people to, I don't want to be that person where people look at me. I want to be like, I, I can, on the same like, level. Yeah. yeah, just like the same level. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I wash my dishes like everybody else. Like mm -hmm. I, I put my trash like everybody else. Like I'm, I make mistakes, a lot of them, which is part of life. But I, I've learned so much. This sport made me grow so much, and I'm, I'm proud. I can say now that I'm proud of the person that I am. Like, mm -hmm. and I've become, and I, it's, it's so great to see that. Um, It, I, I affect people's journey. I impacted people's journey and just being me and doing what I love is just, it's unbelievable to me. Like mm -hmm. I'm just waking up every day, living my best life, like from passion. Mm -hmm. And there's people running down to me, like you actually changed my life. I'm like, mm -hmm. how, how can you be more accomplished than that? And, mm -hmm. you know, I already won, mm -hmm. but, um, with that being said, like, it's, I think it's the first time, like, I don't even. You know, like you girls know how much I love food probably if you follow me on Instagram. <laughs> and I don't even I don't even know what I'm gonna eat after the show. Like I'm just I You're think not even about, thinking about that. I, I'm thinking about prejudging. Nice. Like nine AM Saturday morning, that's where my mind goes and it doesn't go beyond that. So that's yeah. weird for me too. I'm like, okay, that's that's something. That's something. I think that's when you know as well, like you're so focused on on the job in hand. You know, you're just really in the moment, like yeah. what you're going to have after doesn't even matter. And it's, it's all, it's all about that, that moment on stage. Goodness. Yes. I am. Um, I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> I have lots of them. I've been making notes, but I want to just touch a little bit. Um, I'm a posing coach here in the UK. So obviously I'd love to just know what your protocol is when it comes to posing, uh, what, what you find the best drills for you are, any advice to anyone who is starting out uh, with their posing practice? The, the posing practice. Yeah. yeah. Um, God, posing. <laughs> when I first started, like, I remember because um, I, I do like online posing clients too, and I, as you probably experienced mm -hmm. to it, like the first time the girl is wearing heels and kind of like, you know, if you wear, make them wear like a bikini the first time, then you're actually looking at yourself and they're like, okay, oof, how are we going <laughs> to, right? And you're looking at yourself and you know, you're, it's just, it's a one step by one step, but you have to make sure that you practice a lot. Mm -hmm. I like think black... people underestimate how much practice yeah. posing takes, you know? Oh yeah. Like definitely. You want to be, you know, I still, I still have dreams of me forgetting my routine, you know, <laughs> yeah. you really, but you really have to like, you have to know your routine, like in your head with your eyes closed, you have to do it. No mirrors. Um, I think that's a really good tip. If I have like one big tip, huge tip, Practice your posing with a mirror at least 
at least a good a good amount of time um, before going on stage because you don't have that reflection of you in those um, focus points. Right. So uh, that would be my biggest tip of like, if you hit one post, kind of close your eyes and kind of feel where it hurts. That's where you know you can hit it. And definitely, I agree with the underestimating posing because when your nerves are in, yeah. on it, um, and it's just practicing so much, it's going to bring so much personality into it. And you're going to find just like that little like arm thing you want to add is just going to flow so much better. And I'm still, I don't want to add anything to my posing routine, but like there's sometimes I'm like, oh, like I actually like like putting my elbow like a little bit like that. It adds, it adds just a character tactic. and personality. And that's exactly. something I really love about the, the bikini category because there's not there's there's not a massive amount of um different types of poses that go into this style of bikini posing so i do feel like it's really important that you know you girls bring character mm. and personality and you have that little moments of the shoulder or the hand you know that really shows who you are on stage i love it you're yeah. good I love it. <laughs> but yeah it, it, it's really from from head to toe yeah like um I would say my biggest struggle for me was kind of my facials. Oh. So, you know, it's because the moment when you start thinking a little bit, you kind of, my eyes kind of go, um, you know, with, with no sparkles. Yeah, in. you got to keep that presentation on stage. It's like that stage presence. It's in the eyes. It's in the face. It's in the body. Exactly. Exactly. Can I you ask... got it. <laughs> I practice a lot of that. <laughs> Can I ask, um, what kind of like tips do you have then for uh, someone that's competing maybe for the first time. Yeah. Yeah, you know? Um, top top three tips. Let's say top three. <laughs> um, We're putting God, you on the spot I now. <laughs> I would say, because there's so much to say, but um, if you're competing for the first time, like, or looking to compete, first get really educated on subject. Like, as much as you can, just follow all the accounts possible, and watch all the videos on NPC News online, and like you know like even i would say to watch like all the podcasts that you yeah. guys make this is such gold content <laughs> for girls that are started like to and i would even go like no, don't even watch just a category like watch bodybuilding in yeah. general like yes. first or get educated of yeah. like experience like the guys that the figure girls the physique like you have so much to learn from them <laughs> and we have veterans now that are like doing amazing um content or even like the upcoming um from all countries like all over the world getting together like if i had that before when i started oh my gosh that would that it would, would have be been a good. game changer be, right <laughs> game changer so like um i think you have no you know you have no excuse with now like google and especially like during covid and mm. just the content that's put out there like you guys do like amazing podcast it's just it's great because i think people um a lot of people only see the sport as a physique but it goes so much beyond that and when you're if you're able to understand that um your first time competing that's going to be huge yeah. if you're able to understand that the sport is not only about bringing the best physique and doing cardio and just eating chicken every three hours and you go beyond that and work on your mindset, as I said, like work on your posing, work on your, you know, know that your sleep is important, your water intake, being on point all the time, um, showing up for yourself, saying no to people, um, learn all these aspects and build some kind of character before doing the sport and before doing your first competition, you're going to be hard to beat. You're going to be really hard to beat. Wow. So um, I, I would I would say that's pretty much my, that's my, some pretty sound advice. Yeah, yeah that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of feel fired up to get back on stage myself after that. <laughs> yes. <Good. laughs> I have one last question. Um, who is your inspiration? God, um, all the champions in the sport, you know, I think everybody that earned that title... Um, have a reason to and what impresses me so much of bodybuilding and what I love bodybuilding so much is like how it brings together a bunch of different people 
different ages, different environment. Nobody, nobody have a life. We all go through the same thing. Technically, we all go through prepping and what's not, but um, prepping is such a long journey that life gets into it. And I, I can say for myself, even though I'm, I'm practicing the sport of bodybuilding since six years now, I didn't have one prep, you know, um, equal to another mm. or because life happens, mm -hmm. life happens every day, you know, and you, you just have, but we have to still, you know, show up and put that, you know, time, um, for the gym and time for nutrition every single day. And, um, the discipline kind of gets easier. Um, I would say the routine gets easier, but there's still life happening. Like I could still, you know, um, get a call and get a bad news and it would throw my day off. You know, I still have the day to day. So I would think the people that inspire me so much is all the champion, you know, all the Miss Olympias, all the Mr. Olympias that earned the title and just, um, carry themselves as champion. Like, um, you know, That's yeah, amazing. Amazing. I, have, I have, I have so much to learn from all of them. So, yeah. um, you know, on top of my head, like if you want names, Flex Lewis, uh, Sean Roden, yeah. Angelica, yeah. Shira, um, you know, Shanique Grant, yes. Vitamin C, Candice Lewis, uh, bigger girls. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, Whitney Jones, all of them. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Everyone's an inspiration, like on in in a different yeah. sense in a different you know they've way. all got something else to show from their journey and things so i totally agree with you that's Absolutely. that's a really good answer yeah, it's really amazing <laughs> to just like hear you talk about that and i think um they will also appreciate what you have had to say because mm. it's nice for you it's nice for people yeah. to know that so it's so. wonderful amazing yeah well i think we're um we're, we're probably good. out of time we don't want to keep you much yeah. longer and but thank you so so, so much. much for joining us like that was awesome like <laughs> this is gonna help so many newbies and existing Anyone. competitors this yeah. is so amazing so thank you so much thank you so so much for doing that um you as i said like if i had i had that you know those you know content podcasts mm -hmm. uh, that you girls put together it would have helped me so much so so much you have no idea so i'm very i'm very happy that you guys are doing that and i'm that i'm able to to be on the show yeah. and to talk you know so thank you very much oh, you're welcome you. and obviously all the best for your peak week all the best for your travels and we cannot wait to see you on that stage so we will be cheering <laughs> from across the pond <laughs> yeah, 3 but it's we will <laughs> <laughs> thank yeah. you so much no problem thank you so much take care bye Laurie Lee. bye, bye. bye. <laughs> So thank you so much for joining us. That was an absolutely epic interview with Laura Lee. Um, how do you feel about that, Lauren? <laughs> I'm kind of like I'm amazed. totally girl crushing. Like that was insane. Though, like like Laura, um, Laura Lee said, there's so many golden nuggets mm. in there that it, anyone from a beginner to an improver mm. to a pro. Um, I think there's so much to take away from that. Um, I could have literally sat and listened to all of her answers for hours. Absolutely. So. And, but the thing I love most is just that that humbleness. She's so authentic. Yeah. She's so I humble. Just... Um, she's got, a, you, you can just tell she lives for this sport yeah, and she she's so passionate it. about it. And that's what makes a champion. Definitely. And she's like, she's going to be in here for a really long time. I can just tell. Agreed. I... Who do you think's gonna win? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back our girl. Like I'm going in, Laura. Yeah, I'm going in, Laura Lee for sure. Yeah, me like, too. I'm so, I feel so inspired by her right now. Yeah, let's go to the gym. Yeah, let's go train. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna go and do a show. <laughs> I really want to go do a leg session or a yeah. glute session. Actually, uh, didn't shout this out. But Laura Lee has got a glutology oh. or, or like program at the moment. Have you seen her glutes at the moment? Oh, her, her like. glutes are insane. So I'm definitely down <laughs> off to go and download that. <laughs> so yeah, it's called Gluteology and um, yeah, just amazing. So mm. And obviously so if you don't follow her, go ahead, hit the follow, hit the like button, subscribe to her YouTube. Um, and we'll see what the weekend brings at the Olympia show. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. We we hope you enjoyed the episode and we will see you in the next one. Definitely. Bye everyone.